Hello, this is Gene Thorpe, Little Red Rooster TV. I'm here with Billy Buckman. We've known each other for probably 35 or 40 years. Billy's originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And a couple of things we have in common, we both started out on Gretsch Corvette solid oh, body Gretsch I guitars. I didn't know you too did that. Didn't yeah, you? I did. My, well, the very first guitar I ever had was a nylon string Yamaha that came mm -hmm. over in the 50s from a guy that was in the... Korean War, and they've been mm -hmm. building guitars for a long time. But the first guitar I ever bought for myself on layaway at Tones Music in downtown Sacramento in about 1963 was a Gretsch. Was it red? Yeah, red. Had the two little, you know, pickups mm -hmm. with the little yep. rocket ships on them, and, and mine had a whammy bar, I guess you. I threw mine away. I got a yeah. Gibson tailpiece. Nice. Mm -hmm. And so I understand that much of your life you had been a bass player? Correct. But you did have that guitar. And then, how did you get out to California? Um, went in the service when I was uh, 17. And uh, in the service, met some other musicians on the ship. And we decided we were going to put a band together. And California just seemed like a nice place. So, Very been nice. here ever since. And I remember back in the days, you guys used to rehearse out at a place called the Coops. The Chicken Coops. The Chicken Coops. And that, that was an amazing thing. And I'm noticing also that you're playing a D28 Herringbone Martin guitar. Yeah. How did you get that? This is kind of the, my workhorse. It's sturdy. Wow. Um, I uh, was at the recording studio, and I already had two Martins. And the engineer got one of these, and he said, take a listen to it. And we, we turned the lights off and locked the doors and then went out and bought it that day. Very good. We're talking about your newest album. Mm -hmm. I know you call them CDs. I'm yeah, old. they're CDs now, but... Yeah. I'm old school. Yeah. They, they don't know what you mean. But uh, how many uh, recordings have you made now in your career? This is my third CD. And you're primarily what I would consider to be a very fine songwriter, and you use Thank a you. lot of really high-caliber studio cats. Some of the people that have been on your records? Um, Keith Greninger and Joe Craven are kind of mainstays. Kathy Barwick, a local favorite um chris ivy you must know oh, chris ivy yeah, yeah, he one passed on friends. but uh yeah and um uh gosh i'd have to look there uh a, a lot of this was recorded in santa cruz so it would be local so santa you're cruz down in santa cruz now yeah, and you're living on a compound where there is actually a recording studio yeah on acres of redwood forest and uh, keith greninger's recording studio is there too and so, tell us a little bit about the studio. Um, it's, it's out in the woods, and uh, it's also a venue, so we throw concerts oh, there, Oh, so too. you actually have uh, little concerts. There. I live on the venue, and we wow. set up chairs, and it easily holds 60 to 70 people. It's got a nice little stage. And is this, uh, uh, this is the porch of your cabin? That's my it? cabin. It's wow. called the Roadhouse. And yeah, let's get a good... Uh, it's somewhere between Abe Lincoln's and the Unabomber, is what I said. Yeah, very, very good. That's yeah. real cute. And this looks like an old Gibson guitar that you're playing on. Yeah, there. there's a story, too. Is that what yeah. you want? Yeah. So I uh, split up with Sandy in 1980 and um, didn't have a lot of money, and she, it was her guitar, so she took the only guitar we had. And I, I think she felt bad, and she, she got me this Gibson then. So right now it's it's uh, um, just a uh, uh, it's at that studio when people pick it Play up it, to, write songs to, to write on songs it. on. It's yeah. kind of past its its performing life. That's great. So and as a songwriter, now one of the albums that I really love is uh, is one where you had a song about a fellow that was from Loomis that was uh, in the Japanese... We put that one back on here. Oh, and that one's on here. So this is Paul's Place? Paul's Place, yeah. Oh, nice. What would you like to play? Would you like to play that uh, this one? Is, what um, would be I'd like to hit a new one. Okay. This is an old song that I stopped playing for about five years, and I just kind of revisited it. It's called The Highway. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, my good friend Billy Buckman.
Set out on the highway to see if the world is flat. No destination, never going back. Just like a pirate, my sails are full of sin. Belly full of whiskey, I threw caution to the wind. Burned many bridges while I was on a run. Never knew what I was running from. Dangerous combination, anyone could see. Anyone but me. Then I met a lady at a whiskey bar. Softened up my heart of stone She got called before me Left me all alone I thought I'd finally found a home But I am much older now, kinder in my ways than I was in my younger days. I find that old highway soon and I'll travel back alone. That's when I'll be going home. Finally, I'll be going home. Thank you. That just uh, makes me think of good.